Are you fine, Dana? everyone, I'm um, Atundo Mario Teresa from Great Lakes University of Kisumu. I've been here from 2017. The journey has been long but with so many challenges. I thank God he enabled us to reach here. Um, due to COVID-19, we are unable to graduate as usual. Uh, as usual, we always have a big crowd here, but for now we have to graduate virtually. I want to congratulate all the gradu graduates. I hope you will you'll take to the community what you've learned in school. Thank you.
is all about. The virtual 14th graduation ceremony is being held today and we shall going to confer degrees and awards of diplomas and certificates and it's happening in uh, the Great Lakes University, the great city of Kisumu in this country. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce to you briefly how the university is governed. The university governance has a board of trustees headed by Professor Williams Owinongor as the chair. We have Dr. Doreen Othero, member, Dr. Alice Odimo, Mr. Jared Odiambo Molo, and Reverend Joseph Mavolo. All the five make the board of trustees. The governing council has six members. We have Dr. Peter Kim Tai Cheriot chairing the great university. We have uh, Dr. Jen Mbuthia. We have Ms. Reino Miguda. We have Mr. Peter Othino. We have Mr. Mark Olwoch and Mr. Ibrahim Hagai. The six team member make up our governing council. We have uh, the university management board. The university management board is headed by vice chancellor, Professor Atieno Amadi Ndede, deputized by our vice chancellor, academic affairs, Professor George Ouma, we have uh, our Registrar Academic Affairs, Mr. Ivan Swatero. We have Director Quality Assurance, Dr. Jessica Kola. 
we have our Dean of Students, Mr. Daniel Oturi, and uh, we have the University Librarian. University Librarian is Ms. Dorothy Achien. I can see the thumbs up, means that we are ready. We are ready to, to go. And in that order that I had read uh, earlier on, uh, we have um, our academic procession coming on. And uh, as, we, as, the, as our procession gets into the room, kindly I will ask us to um, rest to our feet as we welcome the guests. And of course, uh, individually, we are also guests on our own rights. And we take the opportunity to thank you, each one of us, honestly from the bottom of our hearts for the love, for the support that you have shown us all through. Thank you so much and uh, may we be blessed. So we shall have our two students who will be representing the entire university students fraternity. Uh, we shall have uh, immediately after Following them will be academic staff, and we have an assortment of uh, staff from different departments. Uh, we shall have uh, our Miss Bearer, uh, Dr. Kimeto, will be ushering us in. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, nothing can ever go on in a university without this mess. And uh, it is a very, very symbolic and instrumental tool uh, that shows the power it shows the authenticity, and uh, it uh, allows us to carry out all our mandate, uh, having been fully chartered uh, a university in, in this country. Briefly, Great Lakes University has, um, as I said earlier on, weathered a lot of storm. Having graduated as a, a college, until such a time that it was a fully, a fully chartered by the government of Kenya to offer um, different programs. Our flag uh, bearer program being um, community health, uh, we are happy to note that. So ladies and gentlemen, on our feet, as the procession uh, gets into the pavilion that we have prepared, ahead of it, are our two student representatives, the academic staff, and we have uh, the Dr. Kimoto there in the mess, the registrar following immediately after that. We have our several deans of school and directors of various programs. We have our university librarian. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to help welcome members of the University Governing Council. It is equally my pleasure, ladies and gentlemen, to introduce and usher in our Vice Chancellor, the lady that has uh, carried the university on her shoulder. And I must confess that I know that she has uh, a very strong shoulder indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce and uh, usher in the chairman of the governing university governing council. The chair has uh, tremendously carried us on his shoulder and has made this university what it is today. The governing council is uh, headed by Dr. Peter Kimutai Cheriot. And uh, that is right. Ladies and gentlemen, that team has been Dr. Jane Mutia, Ms. Reino Niguda, Mr. Peter Ofino, Mr. Marco Loach, and Mr. Ibrahim Hagen. We are pleased to be led by such kind of um, a force that is behind the success of this university.
you so much, our beloved uh, Chancellor of this university, Professor Nick Wanjohi. You are one all over this country and the whole region. Speaks volumes, speaks for itself. So therefore, we are happy and honored to have you amongst us. Your direction, your leadership, the strategic decisions that you make in this university. We are honored to have you. Thank you so much, our Chancellor, our Board of Trustees, the Governing Council, our dear Vice Chancellor, all the guests, staff, students, ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to usher all of us to this year's 2020 graduation that is happening today. We are happy and we are thankful to God that he's brought us this far. And uh, to start off our program, I would uh, prepare us to remain standing for the national anthem. So the national anthem, we shall have Kenyan national anthem and then followed by the East African Anthem. I see. Anthem. Thank you. 
Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for the staff who have put all the effort to make this happen. Father, I want to bless your holy name for the administration, both academic and every other aspect of our university. We want to thank you for our vice chancellor, the DVC, academics and administration, and all the staff that have put into uh, a lot of their effort and time to make this occasion come to this. Loving Lord, we want to ask you for your blessings. And we want to thank you for our Chancellor. Lord, we want to thank you for his commitment to this university. And Lord, we want to thank you for his presence here. That Lord, you may bless him abundantly. Bless his footsteps, Lord, and guide him. And all the things that we are going to do here today, blessed Master, we want to pray that your presence will go with us, that your Holy Spirit will be here to inspire us, to bless us, to strengthen us, and to envision us for a greater future, because we have asked this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Um, I will allow us to and request humbly to take our seats kindly. Thank you so much. Our Chancellor, our Chief Guest, the Vice Chancellor, the Governing Council, may I take this opportunity to welcome us all to this year's 14th graduation ceremony that has been aired live on all our university social platforms. Uh, we wish to go into uh, a speech, and this is going to be uh, given by our best student. And uh, as uh, she prepares to come, allow me, ladies and gentlemen, to remind us of our government regulations on uh, fighting the COVID-19. Remember always to have your mask on. Remember to sanitize. Uh, we have uh, uh, put a uh, sanitizer to the entrance every time. Please remember that we keep clean. Keep at least 1.5 meters apart, social distance, so that we are um, kept safe. We will wish to live here intact, and as we go, we go to our homes, but we will not end up in other uh, centers that uh, will, will um, will not be beneficial. So allow me, uh, ladies and gentlemen, to welcome our best student to uh, give us a short brief of her history, her experience in this university. We are very honored and happy about her because she has worked tirelessly and has become successful in that, um, in that case. Chief Guest, Chancellor, members of the Board of Trustees, Governing Council, Vice Chancellor, University Senate, University Management Board, University staff, invited guests, students and alumni, graduates, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'm Karai Ovangelin Kennedy from Education Department. As long as I'm standing here, I'm also glad of myself because I made it. I also say thank you to the school administration for the work hard they've done to us as graduates of this year. The, the experience of this university that I've got, I, the first thing that I, I learned from this is going to be the hero or the hero of your life than being a victim. All thanks to our lecturers, they are competent enough, they have experiences which they have inserted into our minds and we are going to use them outside the field. And we are glad and strengthen enough that this, their experiences will never let us down. Thanks to the school chancellor, the school vice chancellor, for the work hard we've done for this institution 
up to this one of all it is. Has God given you strength for the work he's done and the work he's going to do on your future tasks? We also thank our parents outside there. They have not done their part into giving us some support where we needed. I also congratulate my fellow graduates wherever they are because we are finally graduating. There are no any challenges that you got in this institution. If there were, our lecturers gave us support and money of tackling all those challenges. And we are proud of them. And I'm not regretting on coming into this institution because, first thing, I'm proud of our lecturers. Thank you, Vinci, for giving us this committee to lecturers while you are in the field doing teaching practice. Whatever these lecturers taught us in class, it also helps us outside there. We are also told congratulations. This congratulations from outside this institution, we bring it back congratulations to the new institution. Thank you, madam. I also say Congratulations to you all. Thanks to all the school administration, all the stakeholders. They help us work hard in determination and self force into us as graduates. I say thank you, and God bless you, and God bless all. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We are indeed proud, uh, proud of you. this juncture, I would wish to take the opportunity to usher in our Deputy Vice-Chancellor to speak with us. and gentlemen, I greet you all. We are delighted today to celebrate the 14th graduation ceremony of Red Lakes University of Kisumu. It typifies the incredible achievement of our graduates, staff, and students. Congratulations for the job well done. To our graduates, graduates, we are proud of you. Play the flag of Great Lakes University up high. As we celebrate your achievements, I wish to remind you that today marks the beginning of a new chapter. In your life, keep on. Conquer the world and above all, make Kenya to be a better place. You are not going to get very far in life based on what you already do. You are going to advance in life by what you are going to learn after you live here. The question does not stop after you graduate from college. It does not stop after you finish your MBA or PhD either. Moreover, I also wish to acknowledge the immense support and contributions of the government of Kenya for financial support, the Chancellor for the Lewis Leadership, the Council for their focus and commitment, and the Government University. Special gratitude to all goes to the Vice Chancellor, who we have worked hand in hand together for provision of good education for the university and for her leadership, yeah, staff and students for their focus commitment and for remaining passionate to the university mission. Thanks to the community civil society and made this Sunday a success. Be blessed abundantly. The meeting to begin to, to, to welcome the vice chancellor. Congratulations. God bless you. God bless you, Great Lakes of Kisumu. Welcome, Madam Vice Chancellor, to come under this occasion. Thank you. Thank you.
in exercise of the powers bestowed on me by the Charter and Statutes of Great Lakes University of Kisumu, I hereby declare this gathering an official congregation of the university for the 14th graduation ceremony. Uh, chief guest, members of the Board of Trustees, the University Chancellor, members of the Governing Council, members of the Senate, members of staff, invited guests, parents and guardians, graduates, ladies and gentlemen. In my capacity as the Vice Chancellor of Great Lakes University of Kisumu, I am pleased to welcome everyone to this 14th graduation ceremony of the university. Thank you very much for the effort you have made to be here to help make this occasion the success that it, is, that it has become. In particular, I wish to recognize the graduates, their parents and guardians, and their other supporters. I also wish to extend the same recognition to the GLUC academic and non-academic staff who have collectively worked very hard to make this day possible. Uh, Professor Chancellor, sir, since its inception in 1998, this institution and its predecessor has produced over 5,000 graduates at the various levels of certificate, diploma, bachelor's, master's, and doctoral qualifications. Graduates from these academic programs continue to make significant contributions in their various fields of specialization at household, community, county, national, regional, and international levels. The academic programs offered here at GLUC have continued to steadily empower our various communities towards achieving developmental goals that are sustainable. As a result, I wish to expressly appreciate both the many stakeholders who have collectively contributed to the growth and prosperity of this great institution. Please join me in applauding, for, uh, applauding their efforts and accomplishments with a thunderous hands clap. <laughs> Professor Chancellor, sir, individuals work best under leadership with vision and commitment as the vice chancellor of this great institution over the last four and a half years, I've been a beneficiary of such visionary and committed leadership by the University Board of Trustees, the University Chancellor, and the University Governing Council. By the same token, it is my hope and expectation that the University Senate, uh, the University Management Board, the staff, and the students have also been beneficiaries of the same uh, benefits under my leadership. As a team, the GLUC governance, management, and operational structures have constantly endeavored to scale the heights with the sole objective of positively impacting the lives of our immediate and wider communities. It is in this regard that I now wish to recognize the role of the University Board of Trustees under the able leadership of Professor Dr. Willis Owino Ongor, the role of the University Chancellor in the person of Professor Nick G. Wanjohi, and the role of the University Governing Council under the able leadership of Dr. Cheriot Peter Kemutai in the governance of the university that has culminated in today's 14th graduation ceremony. Professor Chancellor, sir, the theme uh, for this year's graduation ceremony, commitment to research excellence for community empowerment, is a profound one in that it accurately captures our commitment as an institution of higher learning to undertaking excellent research with focus on developing our immediate and wider communities. In this endeavor, therefore, we look forward to forming strategic partnerships with many stakeholders, among them the national government, devolved governments, non-governmental organizations, local communities, and the private sector, among others, in empowering those around us towards achieving broad development goals at their individual levels. Moreover, 
we are persuaded that GLUC academic programs as currently conceived and implemented do indeed build the capacities of individuals associated with these targeted partners and stakeholders, all of which translate into the development of sustainable communities. Ladies and gentlemen, I now wish to recognize the fact that this 14th convocation of the university is taking place at a very unusual time in our history, both as a country and as the human race, that of the COVID-19 pandemic. The pandemic notwithstanding, however, we remain appreciative of the information and other technologies that have enabled us, albeit virtually, to confer the degrees and to award the diplomas and certificates today to our deserving students who have spent countless hours striving to reach those milestones. To our 2020 graduates, it is now my great pleasure to convey sincere congratulations to the graduating class of 2020, both on my own behalf and that of the entire Great Lakes University of Kisumu fraternity. Your hard work, empowered by the commitment of your lecturers, the support of your parents, guardians and sponsors, and other supporters has made today's celebration possible. Today marks not only the first day of the rest of your life, but also the beginning of your journey towards changing the world that you live in as the able, as able servant leaders into a more conducive space for future generations, just as those before you did to enable you achieve today's milestones. Be reminded that you are going out into a world where the culture is rapidly shifting from conscience to free choice and from procreation to reproduction. It is an evolving culture in which truths and untruths are becoming increasingly confounded. All that notwithstanding, however, be reminded further that the educational formation you have received here at Great Lakes University of Kisumu will empower you to discern facts from fiction and truth from untruths which will allow you to make personal choices and decisions with freedom, albeit with responsibility. As you go out to join the employment world, I wish to urge you to be good citizens of the globe, upholding the virtues that you have been exposed to while here at Gluck, and to saturate the environment in which you will find yourself in and work in with the spirit of service and servitude the spirit of enterprise and the high morals that befit the God-fearing nurturing that you have enjoyed here at Gluck. In your professional life, settle for nothing less than excellence, seek the truth in all that you do, and most of all, believe in yourself. The values that have been imparted into you here at Gluck of hard work, honesty, diligence, humility, and integrity should empower you to serve your communities and nations effectively. Through faithful service, you will find a life that is both meaningful and rewarding. Whatever course of study you have undertaken here at Great Lakes University of Kisumu during your tenure, it is my conviction that each one of you has experienced growth in intellect, in knowledge, in personality, in cultural enrichment, and in building personal friendships. As the institution that has had the privilege of preparing you for the real world, the Great Lakes University of Kisumu is proud of your achievements. You too should be proud of them. Again, congratulations. God bless you, and God bless the Great Lakes University of Kisumu. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, our uh, Vice Chancellor, uh, for that wonderful encouragement. There is a, a slight change in our program from the booklet. We have a, a, a paper that has an updated program. Uh, we will have, uh, now that we have our chief guest, we will have the honor of being addressed by our chief guest uh, later. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to usher in uh, right now the chairman of our governing council, uh, Dr. Peter Kimutai Chariot, to give us her, our to give us his uh, kind words. Dr.
Thank you very much, uh, the MC. Uh, good morning, all of us. Yes, um, just take this opportunity also to quote our best student. She said something that is very, very important, especially to the graduates that are going, the ones that we are releasing now, that be a hero or heroine of yourself. And that is the message that we are actually passing to you. Never, never be uh, victims of circumstances. Allow me to uh, go through the speech that I have here. The guest of honor, the Chancellor of the University, Chairperson of the Board of Trustees, the Vice Chancellor, Great Lakes University of Kisumu, members of the Senate and Management Board, academic and administrative staff, alumni, graduates, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we have assembled here to witness candidates who qualified during the 2019-2020 academic year for the confirmation of degrees, awarding of diplomas and certificates in various fields. And on behalf of the University Governing Council, I beg this opportunity to welcome all of you to the university and also to congratulate the graduates. Yours is a great achievement because you have joined those who valued education and we sincerely thank you for giving us a reason to celebrate. Your studies at Great Lakes University of Kisumu has equipped you with the latest globally required knowledge, skills and competence. The entire university fraternity is confident uh, that you will be able to put that to good use. Guest of honor, sir, as University Council, we are committed to our mandate on mobilization of resources with the view to ensuring that university achieves its vision of being a center of excellence, not only in the Great Lakes region, but also globally. On, this, on that strength, the Council acknowledges the, run, uh, the running of a science-based university is a challenge due to high cost of the various course programs. And in that note, the university continues to take cognizance of the support from Board of Trustees, which has enabled us to come this far. As a Council, we shall continue to ensure prudent utilization of all resources provided to realize development, efficient, and effective service delivery. On, this, on that note, I would like to say that we are in the, proce uh, we are in the process of relaunching the Gluck Alumni Association since these associations play a great role in development of any university. Finally, let me thank the university management team, led by the Vice Chancellor, Prof, uh, Professor Atieno E. Andete Amati, and the entire Senate for professionally and efficiently, uh, effectively managing our academic programs, more so during the COVID-19 pandemic. It is on that account of your commitment, sacrifice, and good work that we are able to witness this students graduate uh, student graduates thank you and may god bless you thank you very much thank you so much, you so much uh Daktari. the governing council is uh, headed by uh, dr peter kimutai the governing council has uh, other members dr jane Buthia, miss reino reino miguda mr peter othino mr mark oloch and Mr. Ibrahim uh, Hagai. We appreciate your leadership, sir, and uh, may you be blessed abundantly. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me, uh, as I usher in um, uh, chairman of the uh, Board of Trustees to address us. The Board of Trustees is headed by Professor uh, Willis Owino. Uh, thank you and uh, welcome, sir.
morning ladies and gentlemen I was so much also touched by the speech made by the student who is graduating today capturing the role that has been played with by the staff especially the teaching staff the environment that she has been learning in this place and uh, the resilience of those who are on board here because when the going gets tough, it's the tough that gets going, isn't it? And therefore, I'm very, very, very proud of her. I think whatever she said is representative of what other students would have said, given the opportunity to stand here. The chief guest, chancellor, sir, members of the board of trustees, governing council, Vice-Chancellor, University Senate, University Management Board, University staff, invited guests, students and alumni, graduates, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> it gives me great pleasure to stand here on this 14th graduation ceremony, which is being held at a very unique time in the world today. Our theme this year on commitment to research excellence for community development gives us renewed strength to join the global fight of beating COVID-19. Today, as we adjust to the new normal of our world today, people like us in academia should embrace innovations and lead our communities and society at large towards a better life. The Great Lakes University of Kisumu, Gluk, has shown commendable bold steps to hold this important occasion in the lives of the men and women who will be granted the power to read today. My message to all graduates is that you may use your knowledge and skills for the growth of our communities and beyond. Great Lakes University of Kisumu has a strong legacy of molding leaders trailblazers and pioneers in the fields of health sciences, education, hospitality, and research. The class that is graduating today will join many of our alumni and continue to excel outside there. I've had the chance just recently of, of uh, marking the PhD thesis of an alumni of this university who is training at KwaZulu Natal in South Africa at the moment. And the kind of work I've seen is commendable and is very, very deep and goes a uh, great length into looking into the uh, issues in the community, communities. I also <coughs> have worked with an alumni of this university who beat of about 12 people in an interview and became a programs officer in academic model uh, for the prevention of, 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 of disease processes in a program called AMPATH, which deals with HIV and the rest. And that is very commendable. And there are many others. There's also Professor Pamela Boong also, who is an alumni of this university, who has done a lot of work outside this place. Right now, I know there are also another alumni of this university who is in Europe doing some work there based on the grounding that was done in Great Lakes University. So we are sitting or not uh, just uh, carelessly outside here, but we are sitting on a gold mine. And people would really come to realize that this is a great university in the Republic of Kenya and even beyond. We thank God for that. My key responsibility as chair of the Board of Trustees for GLUC is to create a conducive learning environment and ensuring the university has required infrastructure to facilitate learning and research. Our world today, as it has presented a key challenge to, for us and I, will work with a, a supportive team to facilitate learning in the best way we can. I am a believer that the pandemic we are facing today will not defeat the pain. People in academia have had the strong belief that the pen is mightier than the sword. 
Even though this time we shall continue to shine in academic excellence until the COVID-19 pandemic is defeated. Every year, I truly look forward to our annual graduation ceremony. I am thrilled and delighted to witness the university exercise its authority to give graduates the power to read and to enjoy the privileges that come with the qualification of academics. I urge all the graduates to go forth in confidence with their heads up high ready to take your rightful places to serve both God and humanity in that order. Note that order, God and humanity. The education you have acquired in your time at Gluck should be your guide and may, use, may you use God's wisdom to create a better place than you found it. <clears throat> Gluck's vision and mission both put emphasis on quality education, culture in all our programs as an institution of higher learning. The vision and mission as embraced by Gluck in particular are also embraced by other universities and university colleges in the country at large. It is sustained by a culture of quality improvement. Quality improvement entails streamlining institutional processes with excellence in the technical delivery of both technical education and services that include integrity, transparency, and accountability. The institution will continue to be a leader as we expand our growth as it has been evident in the recent years. And as a university, we shall always play our role to contribute to the development of our nation and pointing our students to the new opportunities created by devolution as a stepping stone for to them to champion for the transformation of our people. You are being crowned today because of your hard work and diligence. It is not an easy task to join fellow graduates in a competitive university like ours. It is for that reason that I would like to say congratulations. A special congratulation also goes to parents, guardians and sponsors who have supported you until this moment when you are now graduating. On behalf of the entire Gluck fraternity, we give our combined best wishes to all of you graduates for your remarkable achievements and for the journey ahead. Let us together celebrate the day and make it uniquely memorable. Thank you and may the Lord order your steps as you venture ahead into your young careers. Namubarikiwe sana. Thank you so much. Thank you, Prof, for your wise and kind ones. Indeed, we are a university that is driven uh, by innovation. We are driven by a culture of creativity. And uh, for that, our CV, as you put it, uh, speaks volume across the globe. Our chief guest, uh, Bishop Abiero. It is uh, my pleasure to bring to us the university chancellor to speak with us and uh, give us uh, his kind words. Our chancellor is, uh, is a force that uh, some of us, we are not even able to tie the shoelace, as uh, the Bible puts it. But we are honored to have you we are honored to benefit from your strategic leadership. We are honored to have your presence within the university. And for that, may you please address the congregation. Our chancellor, may we invite our chancellor there. Chief Guest of Honor, the Chairman of the Board of Trustees, 
chairperson of the council, the vice chancellor of the Great Lakes University of Kisumu, members of university senate and management board, academic and administrative staff, alumni and current students, all protocols observed, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I am extremely pleased and honored to preside over this 14th graduation ceremony of the Great Lakes University of Kisumu. Every year, GLUC produces hundreds of graduates who have been well prepared to take up strategic roles in the development of themselves their families, their communities, Kenya, in Kenya, as well as the world at large. And we have just had some are in Europe, others are in other places, and this is great. And therefore, congratulations, the university. As the university chancellor, I congratulate the graduates receiving certificates, diplomas, bachelor's, master's, and doctoral degrees today for their academic achievements, a major milestone in your lives. Men, not many have been fortunate enough to make it to this, I mean this far, for various reasons. It is therefore an event for you to cherish and to thank God for. The degrees conferred and certificates and diplomas being awarded today are, formulation, are foundations on which to build your future. I encourage you graduates progress further in your academic pursuits so as to gain new knowledge, acquire advanced skills, and new critical capabilities, not just knowledge, but critical capabilities that will make you to be more competitive nationally and globally. As I salute the graduates, I also pay special tribute to the university academic staff who have prepared our students during their stay here. They have carried out their duties with dedication, even amid the unnormal COVID-19 times. I equally thank the parents sponsors and guardians for their sacrifices made over the years to educate their children up to the university level. Ladies and gentlemen, dear graduates, education is an investment. And some people think, especially Adam Smith and a few others, thought it was one of the greatest investments a population or people could do to their nation so that their population becomes more capable of working and doing things for themselves and therefore developing themselves. That is Adam Smith, among others. The Kenya government, 
or the Kenya government's developmental plan, commonly referred to as Vision 2030, relies heavily on an educated Kenyan workforce and population, not just workforce, even population. But it must be well educated. And I think I have talked today to, he said, the Dean of Education. Yes. And we agreed he, he has to look at it. So that he examines the population where those people are going. If they are developing, then you are doing a good job. If there is even one poor man or person in that, in that community, there is a problem. Because people who are educated well by educated people like yourselves must may be able to transform the society so that there is no poverty, there is no disease. That's because you, are, you have health. There is no shortage of food. That's why we have agriculture and agri-food and agri-business. That is the thing. But if you find one poor man, you have to revise your approach to the way we are educating our students. Because since independence, we have, uh, we have educated many. But we still see poor people around in the country. How? How? The government, together with your parents' uh, graduates, sponsors and guardians, have invested in you a great amount of resources to enable you to scale this academic ladder. I appeal to you to utilize and apply knowledge, skills, and the capabilities you have earned from this institution in the course of your education at the GLUC for the benefit of the Kenyan society and human or humanity in general. Please, let's direct our graduates to that goal, to that goal. In every task you undertake, graduates, I urge you to apply yourselves with tenacity, commitment, and ultimate resolve, even as you approach every challenge with serenity and fortitude. I congratulate the chairman and the entire membership of the Board of Trustees for your continued commitment to this university. I also congratulate the chairman and all the members of the group governing council. You have performed your role of policy oversight and strategic direction setting for this university at a very important time of its existence. Well done, all of you. And please keep up the good work you are, you are doing. I also thank the university management, led by the able vice chancellor, Professor Atieno Amadi, for courageously implementing the council's policies and the innovative strategies as laid out in the development plans of the university. I also thank you, University Senate, and all the academic and non-academic members of staff, as well as all the students, for all the different roles you have played in organizing such an auspicious graduation ceremony under very difficult circumstances. Ladies and gentlemen, the world today, as we know it, is undergoing tremendous changes at a very rapid speed. 
our attempt, our attempt as a country to catch up with the rest of the world must be made through high quality scientific, technological, engineering, and mathematics education. That is STEM. It is the only kind of education. I am now addressing the people in education so that they see it is not just education. Mpaka yedes izidi hapo. Iwe to be a good education. Din, are we together? <laughs> yes, STEM. It is the only kind of education that will enable Kenya and Africa in general to exploit its natural resources and use those resources like iron ore, other minerals, oil, agricultural resources, land, which is most of it is still empty, lying idle. Exploit those resources and use them to make finished products and goods of economic and social value to ever or to everyone in the society. STEM will enable people of Africa to engage in tool and machine making in order to turn those resources into products of use. When you teach medicine that this medicine is very good, also teach them how it is made. Or whose job will it be? Also teach them how it is made. Teach them to go and demand those who have the machines start making this one so that all the people of Kenya can be saved from dying. That is the way. But if we keep quiet, it will be dangerous. If you think a mask is good to save people from, from COVID-19, please organize them to start making, especially if you are the lecturer in health and community development. Organize, do not order from outside. Let that community start making them so that they benefit economically first. And then after making the mask, what else should they make? The handkerchief, what else should they make? Why, why should we order the gowns we are wearing from Nairobi? What is your community doing? What? Why don't we and give them that chance to gain that money? And then start making shoes for us, isn't it? Maybe some of these things we shall spare them for another day. But definitely, if we think that way, then education will have a meaning. If we don't see it that way, education will be meaningless the way it has been throughout Africa up to now. 60 years after independence. That's why Africa is still the poorest in the world. In fact, all countries in Africa have been downgraded from third world. Now they are fourth world. Yes, it is true. It is true. Their GDP per capita last year was lower than it was in 1960. These are, they are not my, record, my, my data. They are data by the UN. So we have to wake up and change so that our education starts benefiting our populations and our populations start now becoming economically, socially, and in every other way developed. That's why I have uh, indicated the STEM as it is the only kind of education that will enable Kenya and Africa 
in general to exploit its natural resources and produce the things that will enrich and enable the society. STEM will enable the people of Africa to engage in tool and machine makes and product making and all that making so that our countries in Africa can transform and therefore be not consumers of masks from China, not consumers of Panadols from America, but we become makers and exporters of these things to other countries. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know whether you read in the paper that Panadol in Kenya costs 30 times what it costs America. 30 times. See your pesa yote ingekuja kwenu. 30 times. Panado. The amount we are paying for mask, which is imported from elsewhere, is so much, more than a hundred times. Well, our land is lying idle. Instead of planting cotton, instead of rearing uh, sheep for wool so that we produce more, instead of uh, planting rubber at the coast and at Lake Victoria, so that we now become manufacturers of rubber and all that material and we conquer the world. We can. I know we can. Therefore, that is why the university education must enable the African population to establish itself on the cutting edge of scientific, technical, engineering knowledge and modern tool and machine making in order to move things forward. Don't mind even if you are teaching health. Is there any health without the equipment? Uh, where is Professor? Is there anything you can do in health without equipment? It can't be. Why must we import even the needle for injecting somebody? A needle. Even a piece of cloth for cleaning. It must come from America or from China. A piece of cloth. Why? I'm sure you can see where I'm coming from, isn't it? It is very important. Yes. Yes. It is very important that we do things that way. So that we can make the goods under all the programs and help the community to make the goods under all the programs that are undertaken in this university in order that people may satisfy their needs themselves, not getting other people to come and help them satisfy their needs, and develop themselves into an industrial and hence modern society, modern, so that we don't have to die on, of poverty, of disease, what we na na a primitive disease. Isn't cholera a primitive disease? Yeah, malaria of all things. Malaria. Yeah. So, this is the most important contribution to the development agenda of the African countries a university can make. It is the only agenda that opens all the other economic opportunities towards creation of the wealth, the nation, of the nation, and every community in Kenya. And that is what, the, I mean, all communities need. Accompanied by poverty eradication. It cannot be eradicated in any other way. Even if you tell people, where, where, under what program do you educate people to eradicate poverty? Is it at a community development? Yeah. If you educate people to eradicate poverty and there is no production, you are cheating them. Please, academicians, please don't cheat. 
So you must help them to be productive. And you, you can see why I'm a bit worried. Because when COVID came, we sounded so helpless. The whole continent, helpless. 60 years after independence, helpless. Are you sure that was fair? I'm about to finish, but I wanted to make sure that I made a few people angry. So that they can also take action, isn't it? <laughs> that, is, that is the thing. So, it is the only agenda that this and all other, I mean, uh, uh, it is the only agenda that opens all the other opportunities towards creation of the wealth, the nation, of the nation and every community in, uh, in the world, and that Kenya needs, accompanied by poverty, eradication, full employment will only come that way. There is no other way. What is an employment rate in Kenya now? 75%. What is the poverty rate in Kenya? It is the World Bank, which put it the other day, 90% of people in Kenya are poor. 60 years after independence, are you sure it is fair? How many professors do we have? Maybe 10. All of them should go home when, they come, when we finish and they start asking themselves whether it is fair. Okay? Full employment can only be finished through that method. High quality of life for all. I urge you, therefore, to use the knowledge and the skills and the special capabilities you have been given. I'm sure they have given you, but they never asked you to go and make people productive. All the programs in the whole of the continent are directed at facilitating consumption of imported products, equipment, Dr. uses all of them imported, isn't it? Even the shock, the blackboard, and the green board, and the pen, everything imported. And the universities in a, in a place where there are few people import only if there is no poor man or poor woman around. If there is one, make him produce those things. I hope I'm clear. Why is the alumina a student? There was one who addressed here. Yeah, where is the best one? Yeah, I'm sure you have heard. So, would you write to the other students and tell them, look, we have to make our people, wherever we are, start producing what we need in order to move forward. Therefore, that's what I have said. I urge you to use your knowledge and special capabilities you have acquired during your education and training in this university to advance this agenda please, for further, for your own good, for the good of your country, and for the good of Africa, because Africa is literally going to be finished from the world if we are not careful. In the next 100 years moving, at the rate we have moved, if there is another corona coming, within a few days there will be nobody in Africa because it is a manufactured disease, isn't it? Isn't it, a, you call it a laboratory disease. It is manufactured. Because they have seen Africa is sitting on the land without making use of it. Why should they be existing? That's what they are asking. <laughs> they better go to God, wakai huko. Watu wachie nini? Ati wanakalia mafuta Lake Victoria hii Si imeja mafuta Oyo More than they have in Italo place 
hii mawe hii tunakanyanga inatoka China au India yet the hills we see around Kisumu they are all full of this ceramic what are we waiting for or are we waiting for somebody to come from China and make them for us as if we don't have hands to make as if we don't have brains to see that we can make let us change our approach finally ladies and gentlemen our special appreciation goes to our partners starting with the Kenya government the county government of Kisumu and all other counties in the lake region we also acknowledge all the other partners and supporters who have made a contribution to the growth of Grook in one way or the other you have you are most appreciated and a further partnership with this university will be most appreciated in conclusion let us join the Kenya government and request everyone in this graduation ceremony as well as other Kenyans to observe the protocols established to help slow down and even stop the spread of COVID-19 disease. Yes, let us stop the spread, but let us wake up and, be, and do what we have agreed. Because that is the only way of ensuring we, it will never try to conquer us again. Up to now, the disease is trying to conquer us. But it will never try to do it when we do what we have explained above. Let us all take this disease seriously and make a firm decision to observe these protocols, including social distance, wearing of face masks, washing of hands, and using sanitizers as per the guidelines. The objective being to minimize and even eliminate the risk of catching the disease. And in other words, let us all stay safe, stay alert, safe, and focused in the war against this disease so that our people can have life and energy now to start being productive. We do not go for a disease elimination so that we see people alive there. No! It is to give them an opportunity now to start being productive, productive, so that there should not be a community with a single student in Grook University, which is made of one poor person. I hope the Vice Chancellor and the Council and the board will work towards that goal. <laughs> it is doable because they have done it in Britain. Britain started the way Guruk has started. Yes. And even the machines you see, my friends, they were not invented by engineers. Why is Omolo? Yes, they were not invented, you know. The room was not invented by an engineer. It was invented by a barber, Mutu Wakunyo Anyueli Nakisu. He's the one who developed the machine. Alright. Why not you people who are educated? That one had not even gone to school. He only realized an opportunity. And he made a machine made of wood. Wood ya kushona guo, vitaba na kathalika. We can do it. And if Gluk can lead, the rest of Africa will follow. Why not lead? What are you waiting for? With these few words, I once again salute you all and thank you for attending this graduation and for giving me a chance to talk to you the way I have talked to you. Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless Gluck. And God bless Kenya. Thank you.
Thank you so much, uh, Prof. Listening to you is always a challenge. Very incisive, like surgery runs deep. I love the statistics that you have brought forth. 90% of us are poor. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, turn around. It means, therefore, that uh, in every 10 persons you sit next to, how many are poor? So please count from where you are. Count 10 people and tell me who is poor. <laughs> the sad reality. Prof, every time we listen to you, I think uh, I remember every time I listen to you, uh, uh, true to your words, you are wondering whether to laugh or to get really annoyed. And when you get annoyed, you shed tears. But that is the sad reality. Our dear chief guest, our chancellor has given us a challenge with the power of God bestowed on you. Bless us with your speech. Ladies and gentlemen, may I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, praise the Lord. Amen. It is very important and also it is time to learn. The Chancellor of the University, members of the Board of Trustees, the Governing Council, members of the Senate, Vance Chancellor, the staffs here present, invited guests, parents who have got time to come, and those who are not with us, graduates, ladies and gentlemen. I feel honored and privileged to have been asked to be the chief guest at this 14th graduation ceremony of this excellent institution. To be a guest of honor, first it's a surprise to me because myself and the university cannot be separated in my life. So to be identified by the family to come as the chief guest I'm not taking it for granted. We are among the few who have indeed gained a lot from this university. My wife is here with me. I know I'm a chief guest, but she's the one who supports me to be, to be seen by this family. Friends, I was fortunate to witness the unique features of these academic programs. And I have great admiration for the emphasis the university places on lifelong learning and development, positive engagement with the community, developing leadership, skills, qualities that will positively impact your communities, your country, and the world at large. May I take this opportunity of expressing my appreciation to Professor Anne Amadi, our Vice Chancellor, and the Great Lake Governing Council for the invitation to this event. I'm aware that the founders of this university had a vision and commitment to establish an institution of higher learning that could meet the needs of local, national, and international communities. This is very much in line with our theme today, 
commitment to research excellence for community empowerment. Indeed, what we have heard from our speakers, emphasized by our Chancellor of the University, it is indeed a big challenge. And also it reminds me a story that one time one of the British member, a citizen, was arrested. He was arrested because he stole a loaf of bread. When he was taken to court to be prosecuted, that he was arrested because of stealing a loaf. I want you to remember, try to think about that one. In Great Britain. So, as usual, the magistrate or the judge took off his glasses and looked him carefully when he was asked, why did you steal a loaf of bread? He said, to feed my family. To feed my family. I stole one bread to feed my family. And so the judge looked at him and looked at those who attended the court and delivered judgment that in Great Britain and Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth there is somebody who can steal bread and be arrested to feed family. Shame on us. I find he asked the guard to close the door of the court and he passed the judgment saying I find you 20 pounds. A poor man find 20 pounds. Then he asked one of the staff of the members of the court to bring a dish so that the judgment was passed to those who attended because they are members of the society where one is suffering cannot feed a family and is only able to steal one bread. So everybody was fined. And so money was collected. You come as the rain goes. And then 280 pounds was collected. And the man was given 280 pounds to go and feed the family and not to steal again. Interestingly, he never stole again. But one of his children became the vice chancellor of Kent University. So I'm pleased, brothers and sisters, when we take this, the theme of today, to be committed to research excellence. Let us think seriously as university on this issue. Instead of graduating to first world, our chancellor has informed us of how the world is seeing the continent of Africa that instead of going up, we have left number three, third world. We are now, I don't know whether we are going to be comfortable at fourth world in our presence. It is time as the university to get annoyed. And when the Great Lakes is taking this theme, research, please research and not only the Great Lakes, to entire nation to be involved in research. Do research. Make sure that you do research. As a university. 
at the time of the finding, there were no more than four private universities when we started this university. At that time, our public universities could only admit about one half of the people who qualified for university admission. Admission was based more on bed space than academic university would afford. As such, about one half of Kenyans who wished to obtain university education were left to their own devices. Therefore, Great Lakes of Kisumu was founded to provide private university which could meet the needs of those who could not find bed space. And therefore, education in our public universities have been here as one of in the leadership of the university as the chairman of board of trustees and I spent 24 about 24 years of my part of my life being part of Great Lakes University I want to tell you and encourage you that the structures here my brothers is indeed what is everywhere that runs the university They are the shipbuilders. And shipbuilders, shipbuilders are aware of the depth of the ocean. They are aware. And they are also aware of the weight of water in that ocean. And the huge storms that are generated in the ocean. So when the shipbuilders are building ship, it is to be made very tight because of those factors. They are also aware of the mountains and hills, big animals, marine animals, creatures. The ocean is very complicated. But the shipbuilders are aware of the life above and under the ocean. Their responsibility as a result of the research, is to make the ship very extraordinarily tight. And when the ship is moving across the ocean, whether it is Pacific, Indian Ocean, or Arctic Ocean, whatever ocean, the ship is not bothered by the depth of the ocean or the huge storms. At the end of the day, she will wear and sail across the ocean. So if the world did not think because of HIV AIDS. I'm sorry to say it will sink because of COVID-19 when we are now committing ourselves to do research. Great Lakes is not going to sink because the world is not going to sink as long as the research is alive. The ship will anchor on the other side and come back. We are not bothered. Let you not be bothered by the storms or the depth of the ocean. Sail. Make the ship very tight. The only problem is when the ocean gets entry to the ship. It is likely to sink. If the, sh if the ocean is getting into the ship. So all leakages are to be sealed. Our government is to seal the leakage because the, the country is leaking. Why should we have money and we can't divide them to help Wanjiko, Akot, and the rest? Why? Because there is leakage. It brings shame to us in the leadership. And so as part of us to produce leaders, I think we have to think more and more to be able to seal the ship not to leak. For leakage will bring havoc to the ship. 
make it tight in the knowledge. Over the years, the physical structures have been set up. Academic curriculum have been designed to help produce distinguished scholars as you have heard the products, the alumni of this university are also outside constructing the new world. More recently, the university has diversified the, its academic programs and now it is producing graduates in various professional fields, all in the effort of empowering our local communities in achieving goals that can be sustained, as the Van Sanchez said. The university has made tremendous contribution in training Kenyans and non-Kenyans, as well as in critical fields of human development. Therefore, I propose that all those who are involved in these activities deserve our deep appreciation and thunderous applause from all of us here. <laughs> Graduation, of course, is a time of celebration and triumphant and marks the end of one's phase and beginning of the next phase. It's a very proud moment for the graduates, parents, and university academic staff who have all played their part in the end result. The students have worked hard with the focus, determination, and discipline. The lecturers have done their utmost to help you by encouraging and motivating you to perform <coughs> at optimum and achieving the end result that you are to get today. Somebody says that education begins when you have forgotten what you learned from school and college and university. It's when education begins. And no wonder here we'll hear you are now given authority to go and read. Remember, education begins when you have forgotten what you learned in school and colleges. Otherwise, you revert back to nobody who has gone to school. You learned, but never educated. Your parents made many sacrifices in the last few years and provided you with an enabling environment at home, financial and moral support, we believe, to help you through this phase. The graduates started as young, ambitious post-high school students and are living here as adults. They will be in total different environment with new friends. They will be subject to new pressures. Parents have to accept that their children will not be under one roof with them and may end up a few thousand miles or kilometers away from home. This will require emotional adjustment for both parents and children. From my own experience as a student, I was excited leaving school, of course, as you did, carrying your bag. Our wood make, made boxes where we were challenged, whether they were coffin box or other things, but that was where we started. Big challenge, excited, leaving home. I recall the anxiety and the worry I went through, or we went through with mom, when our four children left the nest. What? Empty. As a parent, you discover that they are not with you. It needs social, emotional, and all aspects of our adjustment to allow them to go where they will exercise their talented gifts God has given them. Parents may not always be right in what they say to you, graduates, but believe me, whatever every parent says or does is because they are genuinely. Believe that it is in the best interest of you as their child. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to congratulate the graduates who have worked very hard and completed their studies at Great Lakes University of Kisumu. To the graduates, you enter into the labor market. Please note that you will need to continually advance in your use of technology to remain relevant with all this which you have heard being said here for your sake to join changing the world. 
it is not enough to simply try and get by in life that does not move the world forward you must strive to excel in everything and do it excellently whatever task that is given to you do it to the best of your ability the decision you make starting today will determine what you are going to become in the future that's why i say that education starts today you have learned you have given all the secrets of being educated but if you only remain you will be challenged because the world is not going to be static as you do the research you face many challenges but this is what the real world is it is all about and next phase in your life is a great training ground for your future success for in life we say that opportunities are wings if not used they fly away when you are still alive on the planet it is an opportunity to do your best to listen to the advice that you are given so friends as you have heard it is important that we be ready to change the world what a big challenge sometimes it needs to annoy people so that they wake up that don't be proud that you are third world you will go to second world we have been looked by somebody and said that many of our country are in the fourth world shamefully i studied in south korea where what is called the mindset those who are studying is very important mindset there should be mindset change if education cannot do that then there is no movement we will remain consumers of everything and eventually eradicated or finished distinct from this world i was surprised when i asked one of my friends in korea and he told me that in korea they have 60 days in one month of course i was surprised how can you have 60 days in one month then he say yes we have 60 days with us we have three koreans the conventional korea which you can draw but you have two other ones which you can't draw the underground korea and the upper korea mindset and they said now some people sat somewhere and decided we will be having 30 days in one month they are brain they are like us we are not in a box we have to think and so they have 60 days in one month we will be asked how how because we are in a box only research can tell you what we are talking about those who have visited korea here you know very well the magnitude of mindset we are talking about them they were contemporary at independence you will find most of the railways lines are using underground the mountains the hills are tunneled for both roads and railways they ask him questions which each one of us if at all we have gone to school we should be able to ask that if we know that trains can climb higher altitudes we know now and we are able to make tunnels why should we use more fuel in our vehicles motor cars vehicles to climb mountains hills and we can make roads through the mountains to reduce consumption of fuel so most of their roads are not climbing as the railways are tunneled through the hills the mountains the roads are also there because they know the magnitude of using the fuel and e uh, energy it is a result of research so let us pray that god gives us what we mean by being committed to research please research do research make sure that you do research friends 
new graduates, do not be afraid to be fearless. We all must have goals and we will have fear about achieving them, but it is how we handle those fears that determine whether or not and how quickly we get there. Not every project or task we undertake can be successful. When it is not successful, learn from the mistakes made and take the necessary remedial measures on the next project. Try, try, try. Don't stop. So we can have more days. But because of lack of research, as it was in the beginning, so it is now and will be forever. So we are refused to think. Because somebody sat and said, now you are a third world. And the same person is sitting, now you are a fourth world. They will still sit, you are a fifth world. So that you are not empowered. And so the oils that we have, the resources that we have, we are put in a cell that we don't think because somebody wants to think like them. It is us through education to set us free. May God through the Great Lakes University be on us and be able to wrestle with this theme of today. Research. Do research. Make sure that you research for the deliverance of humanity and for creation of a better world than we have today. May God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Bishop. Ladies and gentlemen, I know we have uh, been seated for a while, but before I say what I wanted to say, graduates, today as you are being conferred with various degrees and awarded of your diploma and certificates, may God help you build a tighter ship that will weather through the storms of this world and see us through to help us as a country reduce on both our poverty index and uh, unemployment index. Um, allow me, allow me respectfully uh, to advise us where we are. Kindly just stand where you are. Just, just stand. Kindly just stand. <clears throat> uh, probably a feet a stride a little bit and uh, stretch your right hand. If your right is next to the wall, I don't mind even if you hit it. Uh, but uh, stretch a little bit because I know uh, it has been a, a little while. Oh, you're right. If you have two rights, tell us. We will let you know which one comes first. <laughs> okay, okay, fine. But take your seats. Take your seats. Thank you so much. <laughs> we are getting into uh, the most important session of our uh, program today. Uh, this is uh, the section where... I would ask our DVC to come on. Karibu. Professor Chancellor Sam, it's my pleasure to present the, I mean, to call the different deans to come and uh, send different candidates for the award of different diplomas and confinement of degrees. Thank you. Starting with the we start with the, the faculty of, of, of research, health, and us and science in that order. Thank you. Thank you so much. Our guest, chief guest. Um, Mr. Chancellor Sir. The following two candidates have uh, been trained, examined, and qualified for the confirmation of various uh, degrees in the Faculty of Research and uh, Postgraduate uh, Studies of Great Lakes University of Kisumu. We have uh, two students in the Department of Community Health and Development. 
getting PhD in community health and development. Nyavanda Levis Kahadukia. Levis had a, a thesis entitled Integration of Community Health Focal Persons Linkage with the Health Facility Services to Prevent Maternal and Child Deaths, a cluster of randomized study. Mr. Nyavanda is a, a Congolese and we are proud to be associated with UPLG. He joined Blook in January 2016 and uh, upon registration in uh, May 2017 after successfully presenting his concept paper, he was temporarily admitted into the program of um, Great Lakes University. From that period, he participated at all scientific activities organized at the campus, such as assisting senior lectures, senior lecturers, beg your pardon, participating in conferences at Gluck and uh, in other universities around. He equally presented several papers in uh, different workshops and conferences. He helped in supervising students at field and uh, in partnerships in the Department of Community Health and Development and uh, equally in the Department of Clinical Medicine. In May 2018, Levis was admitted at full-time student after presenting his research proposal and got supervisors. And thereafter, in June 2018, he started his uh, research journey for data collection on the theme integration of community health, focal person linkages in improving effectiveness of uh, health facilities services related to um, maternal deaths prevention, a cluster randomized study. From January 2019, he started with publishing his research findings in uh, international journals. He presented his proposal and partial findings in the University um, Liberal Days Press, the Grants Lux, and other DRC Congo universities, commonly known amongst us as the ULPGL. He presented policy briefs to the Ministry of Health of the DRC Congo on the same theme, maternal and child health. From publication and articles, he got Queen's, uh, Queen's Elizabeth Scholarship of Maternal, uh, beg your pardon, he got, uh, he got Queen's Elizabeth Scholarship of the Canadian University. In June 2019, he pursued a Canadian Queen Elizabeth Diamond Jubilee program in Queen's University, Ontario, Canada. In Queen's University, he presented a number of papers in workshops and conferences where he participated in several systematic research uh, and uh, meta-analysis. In October 2019, at Great Lakes University of uh, Kisumu, Levis defended successfully his PhD findings. And today, we are proud, we are proud to present uh, Levis as among uh, our graduates, a PhD in uh, community health and development. His supervisors are Professor Kambale Karafuli, Professor John Bosco Hanindo, and uh, Dr. Jessica Kolam of Great Lakes University of Kisumu. In absentia, we are proud to be associated. I wish I was able to speak better French. I would have said much about him. Allow me, Mr. Chancellor, to present our second PhD, our second PhD Oyato Quinta Anyango. Oyato, Oyato Quinta Anyango had the thesis entitled An Empirical Analysis 
of the relationship between exclusive breastfeeding and the cost of health care among nurses. Her supervisors, Professor Atieno Amadi and Dr. Samuel Boaz Otieno. I would uh, request um, Quinta, who is uh, here uh, with us, to uh, come through uh, for the confinement. Uh, I would ask the supervisors to join her as uh, we give her the honor today. So, Father Chancellor. The Chancellor, sir, with your permission. The Chancellor, sir. It is not a mean achievement. Yeah, the room has been a little uh, cold. I know Kisumu is not just warm but hot. We are very, very proud of our two students, PhD students, Navanda Levis in absentia and uh, Oyato Quinta Anyango that is joining us today as she is officially conferred. Let's applause. Let's applause. Thank you so much. Uh, the Chancellor. Yes. <laughs> you have done your good job as a supervisor, and we appreciate you for that. I admit you to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Community Health and Development of Great Lakes University of Kisumu, and by my authority and that of the entire university, give you the power to read and to do all that appertains to this degree. Congratulations. Uh, welcome her to the world of uh, studies, research, and uh, innovation. <laughs> Our guest will uh, continue presenting the following 25 students. I will continue presenting the following 25 students who attained a Master's of Science in Community Health and Development. Mr. Chancellor Sam, these students, these candidates have been trained, examined, and qualified for the confirmment of degree of Master of Science in Community Health and Development of Great Lakes University of Kisumu. Aligonda Mary Nasimiu, Auma Lorenzo Tieno, Chege Daina Watiri, Chege Samson Fio, Dumusik Daniel, Gidongo Faith Wangari, Kanini Yunis Mideu, Karuki Dani Mungai, Kimanzi Felistas Ndungi, Masomo Yunis Ndesamiro, Madenge Mary Wamburi, Musumi Lydia Pendo, Ngeshu Judith Naita, Njagi James Njeru, 
Njoroge Benson Maina, Nyamai Francis, Obo Huntington Wato, Ofua Lucas Onyango, Omwalo Mary, Opio Lillian Aluch, Oria Kevin Chen, Otiti Seruya Apalat, Ruto Jepichumba Lea, Sheikh Mohamed Omar, and uh, Wanyoni Gaudensia Nafola. Sir Chancellor, sir. I admit you to the degree of Master of uh, Community Health and Development of the Great Lakes University of Kisumu. And by my authority and that of the entire university, give you power to read and to do all that appertains to this degree. Bachelor of Science in Community Health and Development, uh, Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Adola Wycliffe Okoth, Amina Haji Shide, Aswani Julia Auma, Auma Nancy, Baraza Millicent, Mchuti, Cecilia Lorraine Lominae, Erukana Rose Inzani, Hussein Ibrahim Hassan, Kosoro Selin Achien, Kihara Miriam Muhonja, Misati Daniel Masese, Mokaya Lea Mora, Madiali Joseph Ajami, Munyoro Metrin, Mutuku Faith Mbinya, Mukwabe Joseph, Ngeno Leonard, Odindo Beryl Akin, Okach Kevin Omondi, Otama Veronica Awor, Otieno Consolate Achien, Wanjohi Faith Njoki, Chebukemboi Judith, Karyuki John Gachoki. I admit you to the degree of Bachelor of Science in Community Health and Development of Great Lakes University of Kisumu. And by my authority and that of the entire university, give you the power to read and to do all that appertains to this degree. Distinction, Ogola Lavenda Achieng. Credit, Achieng Faith Grace. Ambani Tosi Anita. Atieno Edina Amimo. Ateto Irene. Damaris Awino Otieno. Emmanuel Benjamin Nyongesa, Karanja, Felistas, Fel, Felista, Wanjira, Luseche, Noel, Muyuka, Ocheng, Sharon, Awor, Oguela, Fenes, Fenesa, Auma, Okoth, Emmanuel, Emmaculate, Akin, Onyango Shadrach Ojuang, Oyola Vilda Atieno, 
Wesakulia, Janet, Cecilia. Certificate in community why continue? Certificate in community health and development. Uh, Mr. Chancellor, sir, the following candidates have been trained, examined, and qualified for the award of certificate in community health and development of Great Lakes University of Kisumu. Distinction. Anyango Herin Ayecho. Obura Bibiana Rita. Wache Sheila Akinyi. Credit. Awino Irene. Chelagat Faith. Desi Rebecca. Jaber Grace Alwoch. Janet Pristo. Juma Triza Atieno. Makungu Isaac Albright, Al, 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 Al Maosio Sonia Wanjala, Monyancha Nick Nixon Otieno, Ngeso Nancy Auma, Ochuodo Maureen at Odira, Odiambo Valentine Otieno, Ogola Movin Atieno, Okinyo Brian Odiambo, Okoth Jenold Odira, Orua Sharon Achieng, Osege Brian Ouma, Osome Phoebe Anyango, Otieno Gladwell Adiambo, Otieno Sonia Atieno, Oulo Helen Atieno, Owino Lillian Awar, Owino Rose Atieno, Ochieng Sharon Atieno, Otieno Selin Achieng, Phyllis Anyona. Thank you so much, uh, Chancellor. Mr. Chancellor Sam, the following nine candidates have been trained, examined, and qualified for the conferment of the degree of Master of Science in Public Health of Great Lakes University of Kisumu. Ali Ibrahim Muhammad. Ayenda Sandfin, Dado John Ezekiel, Gachoki Humphrey Albert, Ibrahim Sarah Eden, Lohos Muhammad Haret, Mumba Fedis Kadi, Njagi Patrick Njue, and Nor Muhammad Abdile. I admit you to the degree of Master of Science in Public Health of the Great Lakes of University of Kisumu and by my authority and that of the entire university, 
give you power to read and to do all that appertains to this degree. Congratulations. Bachelor of Science in Environmental Health. Mr. Chancellor, sir, uh, the following candidates have been trained, examined, and qualified for the conferment of the degree of Bachelor of Science in Environmental Health of the Great Lakes University of Kisumu. Second class honors, upper division. Hussein Nimo Mohammed, Ahmed, sorry. Imani Halima Sa Saadia Aden. Kiro Ibrahim Mohammed. Muli Rafael Cavillo. Osman Hamza Res. Kad Kadie Sahal, Sahal Sare. Osire. I continue. Bachelor of Science in Community Health, Nutrition and Tetrics. Uh, Dean Faculty of Health Sciences, Mr. Chancellor Sa. The following candidates have been trained, examined, and qualified for the confirmment of the degree of Bachelor of Science in Community Health and Nutrition of Great Lakes University of Kisumu. First class honors, Lim Peter Mayaka. Second class honors, upper division, Ahima Ahiyama Rodney Okudo, Okodo. Atudo Teresa Mario. Bruno Lea at Leon Atieno, Dorothy Susan Adhiambo, Hassan Merrily Mary Mary V Mary V Dagane, Muhonja Job, no Makoha Makoha Job, Onyango Akini Beril, Otieno Noah. A. Shikuku Naluende Elizabeth Ushur Farwasa Rashid Mutea Eric Murangire Diploma in Community Nutrition and Dietetics. Uh, Mr. Chancellor, sir, the following candidates have been trained, examined, and qualified for the award of a Diploma in Community Nutrition and Dietetics of Great Lakes University of Kisumu. Distinction. Asuma Quarin. Adiambo Rispa, Odiambo Rispa Adiambo. Credit, Beatrice Alwoch, Betty Wilfrida Lucy, Chep Coril Gloria, Maureen Achieng, Mohamed Dur, Mohamed, Mohamed, Muhammad Muhammad Nur Ibrahim Oganga Agnes Adiambo Okombo Janet 
Otieno Beryl Amondi, Samson Lois Chesang, Certificate in Community Nutrition and Athletics. Credit, Akin Doreen Lillian, Nyangwanyi Happiness. School of Nursing, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I should be requesting the students of nursing, wherever you are, please stand up to take the oath. All the students in nursing, wherever you are, please stand up and we will take you through the Nightingale Oath. Because you are not here, I will read on your behalf. And we as an institution, we are believing that our dear students, wherever you are, please take the oath. So read with me as we go along. I place your name. Each candidate should be saying their name. So I do solemnly swear by the almighty God and in the presence of this assembly, present and absent, wherever you are, to observe the NAS code of ethics and conduct. I shall faithfully practice my professional my profession in accordance with the laid down laws and regulations provided in the Nurses Act Cup. 257 of the laws of Kenya. I shall abstain from whatever the deleterious and mischievous and shall not take or knowingly administer any harmful drug. I shall do all in my power to maintain and elevate the standards of my profession. I shall hold in confidence all personal matters committed to me and all family affairs coming to my knowledge in the practice of my calling, in my practice or my calling. I shall endeavor to work on collaboration with other team members in the provision of health care and devote myself to the welfare of those uh, committed to my care. And so, help me God. Okay, so let's continue to the Bachelor of Science in Nursing and Midwifery. Chancellor Sir, Mr. Chancellor Sir, the following candidates have been trained, examined, and qualified for the conferment of the degree of Bachelor of Science in Nursing and Midwifery of the Great Lakes University of Kisumu. Abuga Micheka 
Charles Hashindi Millicent Dacia Mukwanja Chris Lusenaka Murithi Dorothy Kirigu Obiet Joan Awor Odea Roslyn Juma Ongumbo Huntington Ogwori Owino Joshua Odeng Owiti Abraham Oduor Oyando Fanis Iminza Rotich Joan Jepkosei Jepkosei Jepkosegei Simiu Maureen Machuma Sinjaro Madol Soy Caroline Chepkemoi Wafula Amos Wanjala Yogo Antonit Akos I continue Ladies and gentlemen, I think we who are in the house, let's clap for the students, please. Thank you. Um, we will continue to the School of Medicine. I now call upon, okay, we will administer the Hippocratic Oath to the students, the clinical medicine students, and in the absentia, once again, we want to ask all of us students, wherever we are, please uh, listen to this and stand up and be able to uh, act take the oath that you are supposed to take. So as you stand up, uh, please, when I say I, you then fit in your name. May I ask people in the house to fit in your names, please? Okay, I fit in your names <laughs> on their behalf. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I swear by the Almighty God and the congregation here as my witness that, I, that the, the knowledge I acquired in the field of clinical medicine while in Great Lakes University of Kisumu shall be used in the management of disease and the alleviation of suffering in the communities locally, nationally, and globally. I shall not by any means ignore practice of my skills to, the need, to any needy person at the time that practice shall be required and I shall work without fear or favor. I shall work professionally and with due diligence, dedication, determination, discipline, and commitment in giving acceptance, acceptable decisions to achieve goals of health and improve patients' lives. I shall be involved in health research that shall have a positive impact on the human lives. I shall see, examine, investigate, and treat all patients equally to the satisfaction of both the patients and myself as a professional medical practitioner. I shall always be led by God. I shall always be led be by God, our creator of the universe, to use all resources available 
at my disposal to save lives. This I swear in my full knowledge and belief and so help me God. Bachelor of Science in Community, uh, in Clinical Medicine, Surgery, and Community Health. Mm. Mr. Chancellor, sir, the following uh, three candidates have been trained, examined, and qualified for the confirmation of the degree of Bachelor of Science in Clinical Medicine, Surgery, and Community Health of the Great Lakes University. Mark Wilcox Co Cox. Naomi Jemtai. Onkoba Janet Mora. Okay. I have one more. Bachelor of Science in Physiotherapy. Mr. Chancellor, sir, the following 10 candidates have been trained, examined, and qualified for the confirmation of the degree of Bachelor of Science in Physiotherapy of Great Lakes University of Kisumu. Agwanda Evans Omondi. Kimeto Patrick Kimayo. Kirui Hilary Kipruto. Thank you. Malal Zaina Nechesa. Magambo Lydia Bonareri. Muyenzi Nelson Anzango. Nguti Job Willington. Juguna Mary Wambui, Watitwa Jocelyn Kesia Atsianga, Wabwile Phyllis Haoya. I admit you to the degree of Bachelor of Science in Clinical Medicine, Surgery, and Community Health of the Great Lakes University of Kisumu. And I also admit you to the degree of Bachelor of Science in Physiotherapy of the Great Lakes University of Kisumu. And by my authority and that of the entire university, give power to read and to do all that appertains to this degree. Congratulations. Thank you. Faculty of Arts and Science, School of Education, Master of Theology. Mr. Chancellor Sam, the following one candidate has been trained, examined, and qualified for the Confirmant Master of Theology of Great Lakes University of Kisumu. Osado Margaret Auma. School of Business, Master of Science in Agribusiness Management. Mr. Chancellor Sam, the following one candidate has been trained, examined, and qualified for the confirmation of the degree of Master of Science in Agribusiness Management of Great Lakes University of Kisumu. Otia Atiang Willis Odiambo. Atiang Willis Odiambo.
I admit you to the degree of Master of Theology of Great Lakes University of Kisumu. I also admit you to the Master of Master of Science in Agribusiness Management of the Great Lakes University of Kisumu and by my authority and that of the entire university give you the power to read and to do all that appertains to this degree. Congratulations. Mr. Chancellor, sir, the following students Mr. Chancellor, sir, the following students have been trained, examined, and qualified for the conferment of the degree of Bachelor of Education of Great Lakes University of Kisumu, first class. Juma Roslin, Karari Evelyn Kennedy, Makungo Peter Morange, Moranga, no Morage, Morange, Madua Puriti Mudeu, no Mumani Desi Perer, Nyadenge Rafael Owoth, Odanga Harriet Odanga, Udiambo Victor Omondi, Ogeno Kenneth uh, Janet Achieng, uh, Ogweno Frederick Udiambo, Okelo Zadok, Onyango Eric Adude, Wambua Oscar Sunguti, Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Achieng Hilary Pele, no, uh, yeah, Achieng Hilary Pete, uh, Pete or Pete, or Pete, Akelo Nelson, Ageo, Akeo Surveillance Udiambo, Akini Nalvin, Akini uh, Vivian, Akoth Janet Aura, Anyango Lorin, Aura Felix Onyango, Awur Priscilla, Bichange Doreen Kerubo, Bewart J. Puridens, Chelegat Ross, Chelegat Lilian Kosgei, Chemutai Lilian, Thank you. Mr. Chancellor, sir, the following candidates have been examined, trained, and qualified for the conferment of degree of uh, Bachelor of Education of Great Lake University of Kisumu. First class, Juma, Kerari, Makungo, Mudu, uh, Maduva, Mumani, Nyadenge, Odanga, Odiambo, Ngeno, Ogweno, Okelo, Onyango, wa, Wambulwa, Achieng, Akelo, Akeo, Akini, Akini Vivian, Akoth, Anyango, Arua, Awur, Bichange, Biwot, Chelegat Rose, Chelegat Lilian, Chemutai, Chep, Chepawan, Lucas, uh, Dorcas, Chep, uh, Chepkemoi, Cherop, Elvis, Kimunge, Gilbert Rotich, Goya, Ingutia, Jebotip, Jebo Chalagat, Chalagat Martha, Kipchumba, Chepto, Chepto Valentine, Juma, Kaberia, Kageta, Kibor, Kimayo, Kiplagat, Kiplagat Donis, or Dennis, Kiprono, Kipka, Kipta, Kipta Kach, Kipta, uh, kip, uh, kipta Kicha, Kodiambo, Kundu, Leleso, Leselo, sorry, Malova, 
Maoga, Masai, Matara, Matoge, Miruka, Mora, Mose, Mudogo, Mukolwe, Mukoya, Mutinda, Nabagi, Nariaka, Nasibu, Nekesa, Nganasa, Nyaundi, Ochieng, Odhiambo, Odhiambo Vivian, Okoru, Okelo, Okega, Okoyo, Okumu, Omae, Omondi, Omondi Boris, Omondi Victor, Omondi Vivian, Ondege, Onyala, Onyango, Onyango Biko, Onyango Sofi, Onyinge, Orua, Oswago, Otieno, Otieno Evans, Otieno Melskadek, Otieno Nelson, Otieno Tina, Owino, Jeru, Owino Peto, Rabuko, Shigami, Shimiu, Simiu Justin, Sitati, Wafula, Wabuge, Wanyonyi, Wehunyi, Wegesa, Werunga, Wanguba, Yator, or Psychology, Counseling Psychology Option, Munai, I admit you to the degree of Bachelor of Education of Great Lakes University of Kisumu, and by my authority and that of the entire university, give you power to read and to do all that appertains to this degree. Congratulations. Diploma in Education. Mr. Chancellor Sir, the following candidates have been trained, examined, and qualified for the award of Diploma in Education of Great Lake University of Kisumu, Ochien O. Felix. Credit. Sorry. Uh, Ochien O. Felix. Uh, counseling Psychology Option. Onyango Alfred Onyango. I award you the respective certificate and diploma of the Great Lakes University of Kisumu with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities. Congratulations. Mr. Chancellor Sir, the following candidate has been trained, examined, and qualified for the award of Diploma in Theology of Great Lakes University of Kisumu. Credit. Otieno Peter Onyango. Mr. Chancellor, sir. I admit you to the respective certificate and diploma of the Great Lakes no. University of Kisumu with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities. Congratulations. Bachelor of Science in Agribusiness Management. Mr. Chancellor, sir, the following candidates have been trained, examined, and qualified for the confirmation of the degree of Bachelor of Science in, Manage in Agribusiness Management of Great Lake University of Kisumu, Second Class Honors Upper Division, Juma Anthony Orege Mboya Brian Omondi. I admit you to the degree of Bachelor of Science in Agribusiness Management of the Great Lakes University of Kisumu, and by my authority and that of the entire university, 
give you power to read and to do all that appertains to this degree. Congratulations. Mr. Chancellor, sir, the following candidates have been trained, examined, and qualified for the award of Diploma in Agribusiness Management of Great Lake University of Kisumu. Credit Baraza, Kundu, Odiambo, Oguela, Okoth, Okumu, Ongose, Otieno, Otieno, Trufosa, Mr. Chancellor. Sir. I award you the respective certificate and diploma of the Great Lakes University of Kisumu with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities. Congratulations. Certificate in Business Management. Mr. Chancellor, sir, the following candidates have been trained, examined, and qualified for the award of diploma in Agribusiness Management of Great Lake University of Kisumu. Credit Amolo Ot Nyatieno Okende. I admit you to the respective certificate and degree and the diploma of the Great Lakes University of Kisumu and with all the rights privileges and the responsibilities. Congratulations. Mr. Chancellor, sir, so business of uh, Bachelor of Business Administration. Mr. Chancellor, sir, the following candidates have been examined, have been trained, examined, and qualified for confirmation of degree of Bachelor of Administration in Bachelor of Administration of Kisumu University, first class, Ouma Brian Odior, second class, upper division, Kiprotich, Kipchumba, Mayo, Mayo Hillary, Ondong. I admit you to the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration of Great Lakes University of and by my authority and that of the entire university, give power to read and to do all that appertains to this degree. Congratulations. Mr. Chancellor, sir, the following candidates have been trained, examined, and qualified for the award of certificate in business administration of Great Lake University of Kisumu. Credit Amuse Odior Wabololi. Certificate in Business Administration, Atieno Irene At Aweno Sakwa Adela Adel Queen Imali, Mr. Chancellor. I award you the respective certificate dipro and diploma of Great Lakes University with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities. Congratulations. Mr. Chancellor, sir, the following candidates have been trained, examined, and qualified for the, for the confirmation of degree of Bachelor of Hospitality and Tourism Management of Great Lake University of Kisumu. First class, Chausiku Rahema Aguko. Second class, Upper Division, Mushesi. Mutenda Rahel Wandi. Yeah. Yeah. I admit you to the degree of Bachelor of Hospitality and Tourism Management of Great Lakes University of Kisumu, and by my authority and that of the entire university, give you the power to read and to do all that appertains to this degree. Congratulations. Mr. Chancellor, sir, the following candidates have been trained, examined, and qualified for the award 
of Diploma in Hospitality and Tourism Management of Great Lake University of Kisumu. Distinction, Kwamboka Alice, Akeno Lydia Acheng. Credit, Abura Akini Ambeni Awiti, Kibaba Onyango, Papa Rose, Papa Rose and Wanjiru. Certificate. Distinction. Ambeni, Odundo, Owili, Olima, Ono, Onyango, Opio, Oto, Odolo, On, Otolo, Okoth, Wanambisi, Aching, Adelaide Mary Bahati, Kepkeboi, Nerea Bethsaida, Bethsaida Agina, Nyakundi, Odero, Onyango, Oriwo, Oruma, Oyando, Trady, Melody. I award you the respective certificates and diplomas of the Great Lakes University of Kisumu with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities. Congratulations. Bachelor of Science in Information Technology. Mr. Chancellor, sir, the following candidates have been trained, examined, and qualified for the confirmation of degree of Bachelor of Science in Information Technology of Great Lake University of Kisumu. First class honors, Juma Alex Babu, Kimani, Kimuzu Immaculate Matindi, Omondi Emma Anyango Otieno, Samuel Otieno. Second class, Upper Division, Rubale, Mauko, Oginga, Wafula. I admit you to the degree of Bachelor of Science and in Information Technology of Great Lake University of Kisumu. And by my authority and that of the entire university, give you the power to read and to do all that appertains to this degree. Congratulations. Diploma in Information Technology. Mr. Chancellor, sir, the following guidance have been trained, examined, and qualified for the award of Diploma in Information Technology of Great, Lake, Great Lakes University of Kisumu. Distinction, Bateta Otiende. Credit, Otiende Reki Atieno. Certificate in Information Technology. Mr. Chancellor, sir, the following candidates have been trained, examined, and qualified for the award of Certificate in Information Technology of Great Lake Great Lakes University of Kisumu. Credit, Imbote, Machage, Onyango, Robert. I award you the respective diplomas and the certificates of the Great Lakes University of Kisumu with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities. Congratulations. Thank you so much. It has been a pleasure to, to have us all here. As I said earlier on, we are a global, or uh, should I put it that we are a, an international university. All our members watching us from the diaspora, we love you, we care. And uh, congratulations to all graduates today. Uh, by the powers that have been conferred by the Chancellor of the University, I take the opportunity to congratulate you abundantly. Ladies and gentlemen, as a summary of uh, graduates in the year 2020 virtual graduation, uh, we have uh, two PhDs today graduating. We have 36 master's degree. We have 196 bachelors, 54 students graduating with their diplomas, 60 graduating with a certificate, giving us a total of uh, uh, 348 plus uh, students today. 
we have two faculties, our major faculties, Faculty of Health Sciences, seeing 160 plus, Faculty of Arts and Sciences, seeing over 188, giving us a total of over 348. I take once more the opportunity to thank each one of us and uh, our dear uh, Chancellor, uh, thank you so, so, so much. Allow me, uh, ladies and gentlemen, to at this juncture bring to us the Vice Chancellor in her wisdom would decide whether to let this congregation go on or dissolve it. Prof. Thank you very much for the latitude. Good afternoon. Uh, my now is to thank everyone so very much for coming, for listening, for seeing, for participating, and for making it all happen. You can imagine now uh, what the status would be if you are not here. We would be talking to an empty room. Um, needless to, to labor on it, uh, this is a very unusual graduation. Uh, I think out of our 72 universities in Kenya, only a handful have been able to hold graduations virtually. It is a challenge uh, which makes this one a tremendous success. Maybe we should give ourselves a hand. Thank you so much. Um, I want to take this chance to uh, congratulate and recognize the efforts of our teams that actually spent uh, sleepless nights and unending hours uh, putting all of this information together, uh, including the literature and then the, uh, the organization of this whole process. Your efforts are appreciated and they're not taken for granted. I want to mention very specifically uh, our governance. Uh, our, our board of trustees, we appreciate you. Um, the board owns the university, so we thank you for giving us uh, a university to run and jobs to come to. We appreciate the effort that has made all of this possible. Uh, this is not something that uh, anyone or any, any, any one team can manage successfully. It takes great effort. Uh, in spite of the challenges that came along with the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, it has really been commendable. Every time we have called upon the Board of Trustees to come together to think with us, uh, think through issues with us, we have actually convened uh, meetings virtually, most of it on the Zoom platform. And clearly, today's event and occasion is an indication that it all was a success. If we were not able to bring our heads together and to agree on issues, we would not and we might not have had this event, this ceremony today. I want to give a particular appreciation to our governing council, headed by um, Dr. Cheriot, Peter Kimutai. Um, I think it's a wonderful job that the governing council is doing as evidenced by this graduation. Um, much can be said, but so far as the university goes, if you don't graduate students, you're not in business. And that is the really significance of having a graduation like this. Um, so today, as you're able to see from the literature, we were able to graduate 348 uh, students. Um, that is, I think, the lowest numbers that we have graduated in the last five years. Uh, some of it was caused by circumstances uh, beyond our control. Uh, this lockdown uh, did not allow some processes uh, to go as efficiently as they should go, should have gone. Uh, more specifically, we had a large group of students in the uh, clinical medicine program who actually completed their program. 
But there's a requirement in uh, clinical medicine that says that there has to be a qualifying exam at the end of the program before they can successfully graduate. Now that qualifying exam has two components. It has a practical component and it has a, th a theory component. Um, the theory component we are able to actually fulfill internally because it is theory, we can teach theory. However, the practical component requires that they actually go out and practice in a hospital. Um, because we have a clinical medicine program uh, and we all appreciate uh, the significance and the level of involvement that is necessary for a clinician to actually practice their art before they get their degree. We have MOUs with many institutions and we have had that over several years. Uh, many of them are uh, level four hospitals. A few of them are level five hospitals. Uh, however, this time around, uh, we did not renew our uh, MOU on good time for our students to be able to do their practical part. So this, this graduation has locked out quite a number of those students. Uh, but we're in the process of uh, signing those memoranda of understanding so that our students can go ahead and uh, finish their practical aspects so that they can uh, be conf uh, conferred with their degrees. Um, life is never all smooth sailing. Uh, so for those students, I'm sure they have been inconvenienced, but we have a team that is doing everything that is possible to make sure that uh, uh, that disadvantage uh, does not take too long. We are uh, in the process of closing those MOUs and actually uh, facilitating their practice and making sure also that even though they miss today's graduation, um, that their careers are not otherwise compromised. Um, I want to take this very special uh, opportunity to recognize and thank our chief guest today, um, Reverend, the Right Reverend, Dr. Uh, retired Bishop Moya Biero, who has been at the helm of this institution from 1998 to, to, to 2019. <laughs> Many of us don't have the privilege of having such long careers. I, do, I think nobody in this congregation today can say that they have actually headed an institution for more than 20 years. So therefore, Reverend, it is always a pleasure to have you, and thank you that every time we come calling, you have answered. Uh, your being here makes a huge difference. Um, the, the wisdom that comes with having actually initiated an institution and run it for 20 years is something that I will continually come looking for. Um, I want to recognize uh, our chancellor um, for this tremendous work that he has done today. Um, and uh, during a conversation, I was just reminded of the pivotal role that actually a chancellor plays in a university. Um, I know one time, I think two, three years ago, uh, our then chancellor retired or resigned abruptly. And when graduation came, we didn't have time to put systems in place. So we had to do without a regular chancellor. It became a very thorny issue for a very long time. And we tried to figure out who would have stepped in in the event that the chancellor was not there. So today I was newly educated that Historically, in, uh, the, in our country, Kenya, our chancellors were appointments of the president. I think it still is. The president actually, the, the president of Kenya actually appoints vice chancellors. And what that means is that in the event that uh, the chancellor doesn't show up, then the president has to show up to confer the degrees and award the diplomas and the certificates. 
I, I hope that underlies for us and to us the significance of having a chancellor. Without a chancellor, you, you don't have the authority to confer those degrees and award those diplomas. So we recognize the weight of the office uh, and we recognize the person of uh, Professor Nick Wanjohi uh, being our chancellor. This is the second time that he has participated in our graduations. Um, I want to commend our students um, and to congratulate them and to usher them into the world of the educated. Uh, it must not be underestimated the value of a college degree, a college diploma, or a college certificate. We are in an environment and an economy where if you don't have those, you're almost dysfunctional, especially because we ran away from farming and things like that. So in order to rake a livelihood today, you need a degree. And there then lies the significance of a university. So for my team, uh, in, in, the, in the persons of um, uh, my faculty, my academic staff and support staff, there lies the significance of your role. If an average person cannot be functional in the community without a degree, a diploma or a certificate, that should tell you this, uh, how important your work is. And so it is not underestimated, it is not undervalued. So congratulations for delivering the 14th graduation ceremony for the Great Lakes University of Kisumu. With those few remarks, and by the powers conferred upon me by the charter and the statutes of the University of the Great Lakes University of Kisumu, I now declare this congregation dissolved. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Prof, for, for that. Uh, indeed, this occasion could not have been a success. This glittering and successful graduation that has just ended could not have been a success without um, a number of uh, failures turning um, the system left, right, back, center. Uh, in this, I would like to take uh, the honor of appreciating uh, the likes of uh, our finance officer, Mr. Willie, uh, uh, Registrar, Mr. Watera, all our um, uh, assistants, Zadok, Lotan, uh, Jennifer, Nancy, and uh, all the rest. I have a special request. have a special request as we discuss. Uh, I would uh, request our chief guest, uh, Right Reverend, you will uh, put us in the hands of God as we discuss. But as we do that, allow me to have uh, the protocol in place. Just like we came in, it's the way we will go out. So we will allow our um, uh, the guests to walk off. And of course, uh, Daktari, you will lead with the mess as uh, we go out. The rest of us, um, we will remain as uh, our guests leave uh, to the room where they started from. Uh, we will remain here. Then after that, we are a caring university. We have arranged for some meals. So, uh, Mr. Lawton, Mr. Lawton, yeah, Mr. Lawton is on standby. He is going to give us further direction as we head for our lunch. Uh, we will pray. Then, uh, while still standing, yeah. So I'm being reminded that as uh, guests, we get to the uh, meeting room. We will have a photo session there, but uh, we will um, pray. And uh, in that position after prayer, we will uh, finish off with the anthem. We, ha we shall have the three anthems just the same way we started uh, from. Uh,
Let's pray. We bow, please. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Father, we thank you, Lord, for being our God, the only living God upon which this university was constituted and founded. We thank you for the performance of today. Lord, we thank you and pray that you will continue to be a resident God in our institution, in the life of every individual, that, Lord, will be conscious of your presence, which is an assurance of future and giving us hope. So we thank you, and we commit ourselves into your hand once again to give us traveling masses. We do pray that the university will continue with all our partners. Father, we thank you. Give us the unity of the family. We thank you for everything. Be our God and get hold of our hands. As we start a new life today, be with us and walk with us. And this we pray, trusting you through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. 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 Thank you. National Anthem. Thank you. Thank you so much. That will be enough for the day. Uh, I would like to um, uh, tell our guests we uh, take the mess. Then from there, we'll... Uh, uh, just a minute. I'm reminded that we need to have one photo here. Then... Uh, the rest will be in the other room. This is a very important uh, day for us, the marketing team. A special recognition to our technical team. We are uh, really, really happy and thank you so much. You've done a good job. Our IT team has done a tremendous job, and it, is, uh, it has been a pleasure. Uh, they have been with us since yesterday, and uh, they have made this possible globally. I will wait for instructions from you. A little smile, a little smile. A little <laughs> oh, it is in the mask. <laughs> this, this, this is the symbol of the university. This, oh.
You need this. You need this. Vale. Uh, I am being reminded that you can uh, lower your mask a little bit. Uh, yes, as you hold on your breath. <laughs> Yeah, and now you can afford a smile, eh? Thank you so much. Uh, members of faculty, um, the deans, the deans, you can join up. The deans. Uh, where is Dr. Kola? Yeah, you can. Uh, uh, um, uh, Dr. Dr. Oh, she's forgetting. Eh? <laughs> yeah, it takes time to work. <laughs> uh, it takes time for this thing to sink. Yeah, Dr. Somebody. Uh, you can uh, stand be, uh, between the Chancellor and Vice-Chancellor. Yes, yes. And are we are we fitting? <laughs> 